I'm currently working on this giant uh, wolf pup sculpture, but it's a little daunting and I wanted to take a break from it and make a Christmas ornament instead. And what I had in my mind is an owl embracing a snow crystal. So let's go make a design. <laughs> so now I'm in my office and let's make the design. I'm going for a pretty simple owl and it's gonna hold a snow crystal. So wait, what? I don't remember designing this owl. Did it uh, fall into the eggnog or something? Ah, I need to try that again, I think. So here is the actual design. And you can see that it has a pretty big head compared to its body, and that is normal for small owls out in nature. And you can see also that I just focus on simple shapes since this is gonna be a wood carving. And here is the actual design. I'm quite satisfied with it, although I could have spent more time uh, refining it. Here's the piece of wood I'm gonna work with. It's ash and it's rock hard. <laughs> so I kind of regret choosing that, but uh, well, it is what it is. And you just saw me choose between three different sizes of the owl, and I figured out that this was the best size since it's gonna hang on a Christmas tree. Moving on to the bandsaw, and I'm using a very old blade which is bent in all directions, but for this project it's just fine. I'm just using it to cut away excess wood. So now I'm going to use my famous and patented uh, sculpture on a stick. You can email me if you want to use this or get rights to use it, because it's quite powerful when it comes to wood carving. So using an angle grinder to remove a lot of excess wood can be very handy and uh, okay. Anyway, here's the result after some lost footage and uh, you can see the owl emerging from the block of wood I started with. So now moving over to my trusty Dremel to redefine the shapes and uh, I think this is a Dremel 3000 or something and it has been used for quite a lot of hours. I'm not sponsored, but it's honestly a very good product, so I just wanted to, to say that. So now that I have discovered the big shapes on the sculpture, it is time to take it a step for, further, further <laughs> and uh, start with the wings. As you can see, I am drawing a few layers of the feathers first, and then I'm drawing on the feathers. So it's like working from A, B, C, and then so on. By the way, almost all the Dremel bits I have are super cheap from eBay or other similar sites. Uh, maybe I should buy some more expensive ones to see if they work better. Uh, I honestly think they do not, but I think it comes down to uh, uh, like how long they can actually stay sharp and so on. So moving on to the eyes of the owl. Uh, I originally wanted to make the owl look kind of realistic. But since the wood is so hard and so on, I just uh, decided to go for a more uh, cartoonish style. So if there's one thing I learned from this project, it is that uh, ash wood is really not uh, very good for a project like this. Perhaps I'll try to make a wooden cup out of it, but uh, no more sculptures. I wanted to remind you that it is important to have a clean workshop when you're doing a project or something like that. Uh, let's get back to the video. <laughs> so as you just saw, my workshop is always super clean and it's uh, something I'm very proud of, uh, to be honest. And uh, here you can see the owl when it has been roughly carved out and now it's time to go over to finer bits and I'm using a diamond bit to do that uh, part. And this is the bit I'm using, and if I remember correctly, I used this bit for the entire uh, uh, sculpture when it came to, you know, cleaning it up. Except from the eyes, then I used a bit more sharp, uh, a, a bit more sharper type. So I used 3 hours to hand sand this sculpture. I started with 120 grit and went all the way to 240. I'm going to lacquer this one, so uh, if I was going to use oil, I maybe would have gone to... 360 but I'm not sure if it's necessary to be honest. So now I'm cutting the holes which a uh, braided leather uh, thing is gonna go through uh, so that I can put it on to the Christmas tree. And I'm choosing a color, I'm going to stain this one. It looks like blood but it's just a very deep red and uh, well I usually don't take chances like this on projects. 
but since this is a small one and it's like a Christmas ornament, I decided that hey, it will be fun to try. And I have used this color before, so I know how it looks, and I figured it would be a pretty cool effect. And now the owl is ready for lacquer. So I don't use lacquer much lately, but for this project I wanted it to pop on the Christmas tree, so I figured a glossy finish would be uh, really nice. And now the owl is basically finished, so it's time to go for a snow crystal. And I made three designs, and this is the one I went with. It's the simplest, but it's also the one I think that is gonna uh, get mo the most attention from a distance when you see it on the Christmas tree. I just cut it out on my scroll saw and I'm just gonna make like a small chamfer on all the edges and smooth it out a little bit with uh, sandpaper. And here is my patented uh, snow crystal on a stick for lacquering. If you do want to use it, contact me via email. <laughs> And here is the owl and the snow crystal with the lacquer and all finished. And if someone wonders what kind of material the snow crystal is made out of, it is stabilized maple burl. So just using a braided leather strap uh, for the hoop, which the owl is gonna hang off of on the Christmas tree. And now it's time to put the owl and the snow crystal together. But as you can see, it didn't fit. The snow crystal was too big. So what I had to do was to take the snow crystal and cut off a little bit on each side of it and I figured it would be totally fine because these parts are gonna be hidden behind the wings of the owl. And I'm using some super glue, uh, which is very handy <laughs> and it's time to glue the pieces together and now it uh, fit fairly well. It is soon time for the final reveal. First, I'm just gonna, uh, what's it called? Install <laughs> my Christmas tree. And uh, I have a, it's not a pine, yeah, it's a, is it a pine tree? Yeah, I think it's a pine tree. And here's the final result. Who knows, maybe I should make one more each year. Would be kind of a cool, cool uh, thing to do, I think. Thank you all for watching the video. If you want to see me finishing this wolf sculpture, check out my Instagram. And I also want to reveal my next YouTube project, which is a wooden bonsai tree. I'm excited about it. It's an idea I've had for two years, so time to put it into reality. And with that being said, I wish you a Merry Christmas. Take care, and I hope to see you in my next video. And subscribe if you, or yeah, please subscribe. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>